let's go for life. I'm from the veil, never rain, never will. I'm from the veil, never rain, never will. From... Disciples and stones in my family, but you know, I felt like it was a move that I wanted to make because I had actually had my people's move from 100, they moved on 106th and in Harvey. So when they moved to Harvey, you know what I'm saying? I literally was staying five blocks from once a week while he was alive. So, yeah, man, it was like I was fascinated by the foes, man. They was getting money. They, they, hell, they was terrorizing shit, too, to be honest with you. But it was like it was something fascinating, man. I had to I just wanted to be a part of it. So coming up with the foes, speaking of, of Walter Wheat, how was it with the foes? I know there's gangs near bigger. Were they a small faction? Were they large? Like, were they as big as the GDs, BDs, or like, how was y'all integrated? On the, on the west side of Chicago, they pretty massive. On the south side of Chicago, we we deep enough, man. Like, I mean, you done heard a few, like Bump, Bumpy J, he he one of the foes, man. Like, it's, it's foes on the south side. They they spread it, though. Like, 107, that's one of our strongholds, you know. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't no hard decision for me to make to become on on that on under that umbrella but like 71st and 69th right off stony island that's another stronghold i mean we we spread it out and in the suburbs too bro we spread it out so we was these blacks out. originally just um blacks that had no gangs on it and the foes came or was these other sections that was there ready and they joined in with y'all i i got what you coming from uh it was primarily uh People deciding, look, this is what we gonna be on, cause you know, like back when when I first came to the hundreds, it was already established, but they still was starting to really just get their name, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, so I like, so like the mid eighties, the late eighties, when the hundreds started getting that wild, wild moniker thrown into them. But yeah, man, it it was like pretty much the brothers was like, uh, man, we just gotta go a different route, cause we, you know, the most of the neighborhoods surrounding us it was like gds you got gds on 103rd you got gds on 111 you know what I mean? you got bds planted in there you know i stayed mm -hmm. by little yummy <coughs> <coughs> yummy sound of it. yeah it now that's a good question too i'll ask you about that so you was around during the young d center for time that happened you was on the streets or was you locked up no, nah, I was in the street man they killed them under the vibe i got my house the, yeah he right. did yeah they killed them two blocks away from my crib, bro. Yeah. And that father. So yeah. let me ask you, on um, because I was doing my research online and it was saying um the four corners, hustlers, staking or not, are they vice lords or under the vice lord nation? Yes, sir. We are. We we under the vice lord nation. We under the umbrella. But it didn't start like that. You know what I mean? When Walton them started, Walton them was unknown vice lords when they started the mob. But by Walt, Walt family is like. They the royal family, like it ain't no other way to look at it. Walt cousin it was King Freddie Gage. Freddie Gage's daddy, one of the original vice lords, the old man Freddie Gage Senior. So mm. you know who I also got to meet. He also stayed in Harvey. I oh, got wow. to meet him too. So yeah, man, it, it, it's like we had to uh, push push our own movement, and then like you know they start bumping heads with mainly the mafias. At first, but they started bumping heads with you know what I'm saying, the, the lords, and eventually we came under the umbrella, man. But we started off as folk on us, bro. Okay, okay. So how does that work out? Because I see, you know, the the, the Chicago gangsters is kind of complex. So uh are, are the vice lords, the foes all still one? Because I see they have traveling vice lords, conservative vice lords, and like, how does that work out with, with all y'all in the same band? I mean, we all follow the same rules and regulations, bro. Okay. But, like, when as far as this street stuff and all this stuff that done happened and you done had, you know, so much bloodshed that, that been spread throughout these nations, these subdivisions of these nations, it ain't really no uh, unity within the mob, man. There's, you know, foes and mafias into it with each other, foes and seas into it with each other, seas and travelers into it with each other. Yeah, I mean, you know, you be having some unity among some subsections, but for the most part, like, we fuck with the trash, man. Us and the travelers, we get along. We really yeah. do all throughout the city. But, you know, that's some solid. When you hear us screaming solid, yeah. there's a meaning behind that word. We solid. Okay, you know okay. what I'm talking so, about? So explain the meaning of what solid means. People don't know. All right. Like, like, like we, we won. When we say we solid, you know what I'm saying? We move as one. 
It's like a movable rock, bro. You okay. know what I'm talking about? We move on one accord. So what we do you feel brought, a, brought along this kind of situation from being together to this? Because as I was reading online, I saw a situation with the um dude, I'm not sure if it was like Angelo Rose, Angelo, something like That's that. Ange Angelo Roberts, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Robinson. So I see before that everything was like together. Was that one of the things that divided it to, to uh, what it is now? I wouldn't say per se that that divided it. It already started uh splintering as far as within my and in, inside the folk on the hustling nation because everybody was fighting for leadership, bro. It, oh. Everybody wanted to be, you know, it at that time. I mean, this is like the, the early 90s. Everybody wanted to be the big chief and no Indians, bro. Nobody wanted to oh, follow okay. law. And law governed all events, but everybody wanted to be the one to oversee law. You know 